I found this amazing AI tool for architecture that can instantly turn real-world site photos into design renderings. It can also transform CAD drawings into visuals and even create Instagram-style architecture animations that follow the latest trends. Let's get started. I'll walk you through how to use this AI tool step by step. First, I'd like to show you how to use Google Earth to generate rendering ideas with this AI tool. I start by dropping a pin on my design site, then go into Street View and save a screenshot of the building's front view. Next, I go to Render and select Edit, and then Sketch to Context. I upload the Street View image, then use one of the editing tools, like the Polygon or Pen tool, to outline the area of the building where the AI will generate the design. The tool you choose really depends on how precise you want to be. Next, I can adjust the color strength and shape strength to control how bold or subtle the AI design changes will be. Then, I enter a prompt, but one of the best features is, you don't actually need to know how to write a detailed prompt. The platform offers a range of built-in options, like building function, view, environment, design styles, and even famous designers' aesthetics. I just select the elements I want, choose the number of variations to generate, and the AI creates a new facade design based on both my description and the original context. I can also use the brush tool to draw freeform lines and create curved parametric facades. For example, here I sketched an arched window and balcony. Then, I updated the prompt to reflect Antoni Gaudi's style and adjusted the facade style options. To make the result more accurate, I uploaded a reference image. And the AI generated several design options that followed both my sketch and description perfectly. If I want even more control, I can drop my CAD drawing directly onto the Street View image. This way, the AI uses both the real-world context and my design layout to create a more accurate rendering. Here, I've dropped the PNG of my CAD drawing onto the Street View image and adjusted the size to fit properly, then clicked Done. Just like before, I use a prompt to describe the building I want, select a design style, and let the AI generate the rendering. The result follows my window placement and design details precisely, adding textures and materials based on my prompt and the reference image I uploaded. Next, I want to try editing and rendering a building from an aerial view. The process is the same. I start by taking a screenshot of the design site. This time, I'm using a view from the City of London. I've decided to ask the AI to redesign the gherkin, so I use the pen tool to outline that area and then give the AI a few different architectural styles to explore. After testing several outputs, I picked one to move forward with. I saved the rendering and decided to turn it into a video animation. I went to the video section, uploaded the image, and selected one of the preset camera motion options.
The AI then generated a smooth animation based on the rendering, ready to share. The Google Maps to rendering function also works really well for landscape design. For this example, I chose an empty site and used the Polygon tool to outline the design area. Then, I described the landscape design in detail using a prompt, and the AI generated multiple park designs in aerial view based on my input. Next is the Elevation to Render feature. Sometimes we've already created detailed elevation drawings in AutoCAD, but run out of time for 3D or Photoshop rendering. In that case, you can simply upload your elevation image here, choose a rendering style, and enter a prompt describing the materials and design. The AI will then generate multiple rendering options for you, quick and easy. For this example, I asked the AI to render an American traditional villa in a realistic style with a cloudy sky, and I was really impressed with the result. Then I tried switching to a sketch style render, and it performed surprisingly well too. This feature works for all kinds of building types and understands architectural materials really well. It can even generate renderings from simple sketches. Since the process is the same as the elevation to render method, I'll skip the step-by-step -step this time. Now, on to the most fun part. This feature is trending all over social media right now. It turns 3D diagrams into animations, adding walking people and rotating the diagram for a dynamic look. We can use the video tool to make it all happen in just a few steps. There are tons of camera movements to choose from, or you can even enter your own prompt to describe the camera angle and motion. I really love this feature. It brings our sketches and drawings to life in such an engaging way. If you want to give this AI tool a try, you can use my code LAN10 to get an instant discount.